my job is very, very varied from working with the players on an individual level to assisting the coaches in their role. Uh, and over the years it's kind of evolved into trying to glue the whole thing together at national coaching. So it's at national coaching itself and uh, supporting players at tournaments as well. The help I give players is very, very individual and very varied and that's varied across the years. I've been involved for 15 years now. Uh, my job is to really get to know each individual help them understand themselves and their game and what makes them successful. I would say that whilst there are individual um, aspects to each, uh, each player, there are some commonalities that we found in England golf. We did some research with a South African company and what we found was uh, we interviewed about four, we've had four world number ones, RNA world number ones. We've had a lot of success in getting players into uh, professional golf and being successful. And we profiled those players. Um, some of them have gone on to Ryder Cup success. And what we found was there was five key areas or key similarities across players. So whilst they were all individual, there were five areas where they showed a lot of similarity. And the first one of that was, was in that elite players, very successful players, are very, very disciplined. Well, that sounds very obvious, but these showed high levels of discipline. So behind the scenes, they'll do all the little subtle things which other players will know about that they won't make a habit of doing. But it will, we also found that the very successful players were very good at taking discipline from other people, and those key people were often coaches. So they're very self-disciplined and they took discipline from other people as well. Uh, a, a second thing is that in high-level coaching, the subject to very, very complex information, maybe about their putting stroke, using computer software, biomechanics. And what we found was that the better players simplify that information. And very, very simple things is they ask simple questions. So if they don't understand something, they wouldn't leave a coaching session without asking bog standard questions. So often you'll find that the very, very elite players, they're very special in their skills, but they do some very, very simple things very well in normal situations. Um, another factor would be they were, showed high levels of resilience, so they'd bounce back very, very quickly from adversity. Uh, so if things weren't going well in their game, they'd hang in there and find an answer. I worked with a young 13-year-old lad recently, uh, and he gave me a great statement. He said, a setback is only a setback if you let it set you back. Uh, so that, that summed up to me what successful players are about. Um, the, the fourth area um, was taking responsibility. They're very, very good at taking responsibility for their own actions, but also the very, very best ones look for responsibility. So they'd want to play the best player. They'd want to go out in the toughest situations and they wouldn't be fearful of defeat or losing. They'd see that as a good test for themselves to test their abilities. So you'll find that the very, very best players don't shy away from responsibility. They want to be in the spotlight.